Welcome, Pirate fans, for another edition of uh, Coach's Top Pirates Classics with Coach Steve Mushagin. I kind of messed up uh, our intro right there, but uh, we're, we're going to review uh, week five, uh, our home game against Moore Park in the 2018 season. Um, we were 5-1 and one going into this, second game of conference. You know, looking ahead, COC, who was ranked number one in, in the state at the time, was the week after. You know, going in, could this have been a trap game for us, even though it's the 51st edition of the Citrus Cup? Well, that's what we were worried about because uh, Moore Park had had, you know, had struggled and been in some close games. Um, they had some talented players. I mean, they had, um, you know, a couple of their defensive linemen are playing in the Pac-12 now. So they had, uh, they had some guys. They, it was one of those games that, um, you know, we knew that COC was going to be for the, for the conference championship and we couldn't stumble. So we preached that almost to the effect that uh, we might have done it too much, that, they, uh, that the way the game turned out, they got a little full of themselves and that caught up to us the following week. So when we talk about the game, let, let's look at the offensive side. First half, we put up 56 points. And, you know, the, some of it was our offense. And how how'd that feel, the offense really clicking on that one? Well, you know what the crazy thing was, is we had three block punts. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we had really short fields. So in the first quarter, I believe we only ran 13 offensive plays. And so our starting quarterback was Brock Doman at the time and, and Thomas Duckett, uh, our starting tailback, he got like six carries or something. I mean, it wasn't, and we scored quick. In fact, I may have misspoken when I said 13 plays in the first, it may have been in the first half. Uh, it was very, very short because we scored a lot of points in, in the kicking game and special teams. Yeah. And that was that, that, and, and they were set up by special teams yeah, or defensive this, turnovers. This game, we had three special team scores. Now, you've coached a long time. How many times have you seen the special team score three times in a game? I don't know that I've seen them in three in the first half. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that, made it, uh, that made it crazy. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think we ran the second half kickoff back for a touchdown. I think we did, too, because I think that might have been our only score in the second half. Because when we talk about the offense scoring and special teams, and you look at the defense, they threw up a zero in the first half. They gave up a give-me score, I think, in the third quarter. Um, bench gets to play. You know, guys that don't have a lot of opportunity. This is a rivalry game. We're up big. Now these guys get a lot of snaps. Uh, when we look at our third, four stringers, how does that help them? You know, being a community college player, does that, does that help them get some film out? but how does it also maybe hurt us as a team as we move on to the next week? That's a great question. It, it's a uh, catch 22 because there's no doubt we played our third uh, string quarterback who was a good football player and played him the whole fourth quarter and part of the third quarter. And so our starters didn't even play on offense, didn't even play in the second half. They might've had one series and and I don't even know if we had that because we ran the kickoff back. We were going to put them in one series, but then we run the kickoff, that series, then we run the kickoff back. And so that, it was a great thing because we were able to empty our bench and we had so many um, local players that if they, if they could say at the beginning of the year, what game do you want to play the most in? And they'd say more park, of course, being the rival and, and everybody knows it, you know, from, from the Ventura County. So it was great for them. What it did was it threw our whole timing off. It was as if we had a bye week almost. Mm -hmm. And so going into Canyons, it showed we drove the ball on them, but we turned the ball over six times um, in that game, which led to a 31-7 uh, defeat. But the great thing was we got out of that game and realized that uh, you know if we play, we just were hoping that we'd get a chance get that rematch that's that's what we would gut us through the rest of the year but we had a crazy season we had those games I mean as you'll see you know Long Beach we had to come back from a 
big deficit or else we don't win that game. We're not even playing Canyons in the first round of the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So this team was uh, young in, in that aspect. They were very young and inexperienced and they, but on the good side, they didn't let things bother them. They almost didn't know the magnitude of each game. So they kind of took it when they actually took the one day, one play, one game at a time to heart, which was a good thing, but it was also a bad thing. It was harder for us as coaches by far than it was. They were resilient. Yeah. And I think in a game like that, I mean, we had, we had a ton of fun. It was something that I'll always remember. Uh, I remember Jalen Watson and, and, uh, Travis Coons tried to pick me up and the way they picked me up, they moved my hip, which ended up causing that back, causing that back injury. And I had to go to emergency and was uh, before the Canyons game because I couldn't get out of bed. (laughs) It was the craziest. So that game had some really highs coming out of it and had some (laughs) unbelievable lows in some weird, uh, but it kind of, it kind of set the the tone. Um, for the red for a crazy finish yeah i guess it's the way you know it's kind of right there in the middle towards the end and it really did set the tone for a crazy finish from obviously that game to what happened after that yeah well you know we're gonna keep this show sh- short today because it looks like you're at your uh another location you don't have your usual background you kind of got out of dodge <laughs> a little bit <laughs> getting ready for uh next week's uh conditioning and hopefully we'll be doing football practice soon uh, so, you know, any last things you want to say about this game before uh, we end our pregame show? Well, I think there's, you know, obviously in rivalries, there had been a lot of uh, talk going on. There was an incident where we got blamed for starting something at the Canyons Moor Park Thursday night game before that. So I think a lot of our players took, um, you know, had a little chip on their shoulder going in because, you uh, it was actually started by somebody that wasn't even on either team or was a fan uh, of somebody on the team. So it was one of those things. And, the, you know, the athletic directors got involved. It was before you were, uh, before you were involved, you were still the baseball coach. So you didn't have to deal with it, but it was, it wasn't that it was something that uh, was unfortunate to happen that really, it was just being in the wrong place at the wrong time and mistaken identities and all that stuff. Finally, we got it, you know, talked out. We even agreed that we weren't going to shake hands after the game. Um, and so there was a little bit, we were worried about it. You know, we, we talked all week about our kids, you know, they may not be doing very well, but if you get, you know, if you get kicked out of the Moore Park game, you're not going to be able to play for the championship the next week against Canyons. And uh, I think some of our guys, although they didn't get kicked out, maybe mentally they got kicked out because, <laughs> They made so many, we made so many mistakes that next week that uh, it really, I don't know if it would have mattered, but yeah. you know, they, they kept their composure. They did the things they were coached to do. And I was really, really proud of them because there was um, a few ejections on their side and mm-hmm. some stuff that was started that our guys backed away. So I knew that we were growing in the maturity aspect of it. Um, and it made for a, uh, storybook season and this was just one of the chapters that uh, you know had some drama but uh, was a good there was a lot of good moments in this game it's going to be fun to, to watch it again yeah so fans don't forget Saturday night 6 p.m. on the Crown Plaza VC Sports Network our 2018 Citrus, Citrus Cup game against Moore Park College Coach Moose thank you for coming on for pregame uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, we'll see you next week I'm excited. I'm looking forward to uh, getting things going, too. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. You, too.